Never thought I'd live in Laguna Woods Never thought of moving into the old folks' hood My friends all laughed, told me it'd be a bummer But now I'm living in an endless summer Yeah, these are the tales from Laguna Woods I'm telling tales from Laguna Woods Yeah, life in Laguna Woods I'm telling tales from Laguna Woods are absolutely in your favor. Now is the time for you to, to grab an opportunity that will, that will soon present itself. So guess what? I am going with the Chicago Club on a mystery trip. Where are you going? There is nothing, nothing you need to do but stay open. Relax your chakras into balance and the opportunity will come your way soon. Anyway, it's a surprise. I mean, it's a mystery trip. So what you do is you pay in advance and then they tell you what kind of clothes you're going to need for the weekend. And then, <laughs> aside from that, they don't tell you anything, not even a clue as to where you're going. I mean, it's kind of exciting, I think. Seize it when it, when it presents itself and, and you will be happy you did. See, that's not my cup of tea. I like to know what I'm doing and especially where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Control, control, control. No, I'm just a very organized person. Are you talking to me? I thought you were on your psychic hotline. Her time was up and she didn't want to pay for more minutes, so I am done for now. <laughs> well, listen, Susan Cooper told me about this trip and she talked me into signing up for it. And we were at the Scrabble game. And, and, and now we are going to be roommates. On a mystery trip? Yes. Scrabble? Since when do you play Scrabble? Since when is there a Scrabble Club? I have always been a good speller, and I love a challenge. Challenge? Pushing little letter tiles around on a table? Hey, I have been playing Scrabble since I was a kid. I loved beating my brothers and sisters. <laughs> and, you know, my goal is to have as many seven-letter words as possible. Who is Susan Cooper? Yeah, who is Susan Cooper? Why don't we know her? You know her. She she has that bamboo booth at the craft center, you know, on the second floor of the old Macy's building. That's right. I now yeah. I remember. I bought that beautiful bamboo purse from her. I, I use it all the time. Yeah. Well, anyway, she's going to be here in a while. And I thought it would be really fun if we played Scrabble together. And that way you could get to know her better. Scrabble. Play Scrabble? I haven't played Scrabble since I was a kid. I mean, I never saw any points to the to the, the point system. What time is she coming? I I, I hope you told her after dinner because I have a huge meal to prepare. I'm not even gonna have time to cook dinner. She's coming at seven. You know, Jackie, do not worry about a thing. I will just pick something up. No, it it's okay. I can put something together for us to notch on. I'm sure I can gather up something for a beautiful chardonnay pl plate. Okay. <laughs> well, I haven't played Scrabble since I was a kid, but I know you. You are hoping that you're going to beat me. Hoping? <laughs> I know I will. Nelson, guess what? It looks like I'm going to be in the dance competition after all. How can you possibly be in a dance competition? After all, you've broken your leg. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. 
I'm doing very well, actually, in, in my walking. And also, I've tried a few of my dance moves with the boot on, and it seems to be going very well. Well, if you say so. By the way, have you gotten the contract from Lauren Bennett? Yes, I have. Glad to hear it. Um, we don't want you to have any unexpected problems. N no, I, I have everything in order. The only thing I have to do is just ask her. So it's not definite yet, then? No, but I'm pretty sure she'll say yes. How do you know? Well, she, well, her dance partner backed out on her. So it's either me or it's no one. What if she says no? Oh, she won't. I'm pretty sure of that. Well, what's her name? Do I know? Yeah, well, I doubt it. Her name is Jackie Graydon. And, and she'll be coming over here in about 15 minutes. J Jackie Graydon is coming here? Yeah, she's the caterer that drives that golf cart around. She owns Jackie's Gourmet Home Cooking, and I have placed a very large order. So when she gets here, she'll deliver the food, I'll take the packages, and then I'll ask her to be my dance partner. I know Jackie Graydon. Morgana lives in her house, and Lauren is a good friend of hers. Jackie's got this guy named Charlie who does her deliveries. So I don't think she's going to be coming here in person. Oh, I took care of that. I asked Jackie specifically if she could deliver my order. That way, I will be able to ask her. <laughs> well, her food is so good. It makes me hungry just thinking about it. Jackie's Gourmet Home Cooking Delivery. Jackie, thank you so much for bringing my order. Say, you, you look familiar. Where do I know you from? Well, you might know my brother, Nelson. You're Nelson's brother? Hmm, I do see a slight resemblance, but I know you from somewhere else. Well, I have been at the dance training program. You were there with that gooky looking fellow. That's right. That's where I've seen you. You were assigned to dance in the back corner. Now I may have to drop out of the class. I, I really wanted to be in the dance competition, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to drop out. A lack of a partner? Our, our dance coach was so pushy that he got really upset and stomped out and quit on me. What an interesting coincidence. I'm looking for a dance partner as well. Jack, uh, you're a little short, but that shouldn't be a problem. Jackie, would you be my dance partner in the dance competition? <laughs> That's a very generous offer, but how are you going to dance with that walking boot on? Oh, it should be no problem. Actually, I'm getting along much better with the boot on than I did before. Um, anyway, I will only be using it, the boot, for the next couple of weeks and then it'll be gone. Well, what have I got to lose? Uh, we'll, need a, we'll need a dance coach. Mine left the country. Um, yes, I'll be your partner. Terrific. I just need to get a contract. Of course you do. You're Nelson's brother. Hello? Bobby, the funniest thing just happened. 
funny? Well, what are you talking about? Well, let me start from the beginning. That would help. Remember my dance partner dropped out of the competition? Right, after mom totally pissed him off. That was bad. Well, I've been trying to figure out who I could find to dance with, and it just happened. Well, then what's so funny? I'm not hearing anything funny. It's Nelson's brother. Is he your new dance partner? <laughs> Nelson has a brother? Yes, and his name is Henry. <sighs> what does he look like? Well, he's very tall. I hope that doesn't work against us and we're going to have to find a new coach. So you're going to be in a dance competition with Nils, Nelson's brother. I gotta ask, was there a contract? <laughs> That's what's so funny. Of course there was. It was a 10 page contract with the word sexual inappropriation written over and over again. Apparently, he wants to be protected in case he touches me in the wrong place when we're dancing. I absolutely love it. Sexual inappropriation. Wouldn't want any accidental contact with the derriere. <laughs> and guess who wrote it? Lauren, of course. Right. And she knew all along that he was going to ask me. That girl can keep a secret. She is impressive. Bobby... I really miss you. When are you coming home? Well, I'm not sure I'm getting so much done with this writer's retreat. It's the perfect place to, you know, to throw myself into my book and write, write, write. My publisher is thrilled with what I've sent her. She's even talking about me going on an author's tour. On tour? Oh, and what will you do about clothes? Not a problem. My publisher wants to change my image. She said I'm going to be a complete makeover. New hairstyle, makeup, and clothes, even new shoes. I can't wait. <laughs> I hope I'll recognize you. You'll come back to watch me in the competition, won't you? Oh, I'll, I'll really try. Oh, Jackie, don't get up. I will get it. It is probably Susan. Can't wait to meet Lauren's new travel buddy. We have to approve of her, don't we? Oh, yeah, that'd be Susan. nice. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Come on. Here okay. is Susan, everybody. And this is Morgana. Hi. And this is Jackie. Hi. It's so Terrific to meet the two of you. You know, Lauren has told me so much about you. I've been dying to meet you. When she told me about tonight, I was just thrilled to come over. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Hey, I you haven't know, played gravel. I'm new in Laguna Woods. I've only been here for five months and I find it just so confusing the way all the streets keep going that way and this way. I can never find my way around. Well, you know, there's a numbering system. And I that actually left 45 minutes before I was supposed to be here and it took me 45 minutes to get here and I live in the same gate. <laughs> well, it's good that you found your way. Yeah, and it doesn't help that it's dark outside. You know what? I think tomorrow I am going to walk over in the daytime just to prove to myself that it doesn't take 45 minutes to get here. I bet that it's only about a 10 minute walk. You know, Jackie, what about if I come over for coffee? Now, I figure that if I leave about 6.30 in the morning, uh, if it's really 45 minutes, I could be here about 7.15. <laughs> I think I could be here much earlier than that. <laughs> Susan, that's actually a little too early for oh, us. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, let's play Scrabble. <laughs> uh, is that where I'm supposed to sit? You know, I I really hate facing a wall when I sit down. I've got to sit with my back against the wall. Uh, do you mind, Morgana, if you switch places with me? <laughs> I'm not switching places with you. I can't sit with my back to the room anywhere. Well, switch with Lauren. Lauren. I'll change. 
Okay, so well, if we've got everything ready, mm -hmm. and here is the bag of tiles, so you can choose yours. Well, wait a minute. You mean to say that all of you picked out your tiles before I got here? Yes. Yes, that's what we did to set up, and you know, we just want to get started right away. Well, that's not right. Not right? How not right? Well, it's not right because you all had a chance to look at your letters before I got here. I mean, I'm at a distinct disadvantage. No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had a chance to even look at my tiles. Morgana and Lauren have been talking about Bobby. I was in the kitchen making snacks. And, well, well, so you say, but you know, a person never knows what they do subconsciously. I mean, they could actually have their tiles in their hands and be looking at their letters unconsciously and, and devising a whole multitude of letters. Huh, Susan, this is just a friendly game. I mean, Morgana and Jackie haven't played Scrabble for years. Yeah, but the rules are the rules. I mean, everybody needs to put their tiles back into the bag, just like that. And you know another thing? This bag, it's totally, un it's not appropriate at all. It, it, well, it's got a hole in it. Uh, everybody, we've got to empty these tiles back on the board and turn them over, and that's the way it's done. Hole? Wait. What hole? I, I, I don't see a hole. It's right there. Oh, yes, of course. With a microscope, you can see this hole. To what? the naked eye, there is no hole. Well, it doesn't matter. That bag is totally inappropriate. It needs to be changed. Now, Lauren, <laughs> let's start turning the tiles over. <laughs> Let's see. Good goddess, I thought this night would never end. Oh, that woman would drive me crazy. Guys, she's not like this at Scrabble Club. Really? What is she like? She barely talks. You're kidding, right? No, she's all about the game and concentrating. So that's why I thought it'd be great to go with her to the mystery trip. I gotta tell you, her aura was as scattered as the way she speaks. I wouldn't give to be a fly on the wall of that room when you travel with her. <laughs> All I can say is, good luck. I don't know about the aura, but I'm in total agreement. Good luck, Lord. <sighs> and next time, would you please tell that unbalanced girlfriend of yours to leave me alone? She all but physically attacked me right here, in my own home. I'm sorry, Jackie. It won't happen again. Annie's the jealous type. I guess she's always been a little insecure in our relationship. I try to let her know that I love her, but damn, I love you too. And she knows it. Oh, the curse of loving two women. Yeah, right. <laughs> You loved me so much, you left me for the whore from gate four. And don't expect me to start belonging to your polygamy cult and start calling her my sister wife. It ain't gonna happen. See, Jackie, that's why I fell in love with you in the first place. Enough, Marsha. We, we said we wouldn't do that anymore. Let's get back to the wills and trusts and, and sign the divorce papers, for heaven's sakes. Then I could be through with you for good. Don't think for a minute that I forgot all this, how all this happened. You left me with a pile of bills. FBI agents sniffing around after you. I had to take in Morgana, her mother, and her sister just to pay the mortgage and not lose my home. I'm sorry. Let's get to work on it then. Lauren has gone over all the documents and she made a few changes for you to look over. Marshall, have you gotten your own attorney yet? You can't have mine, you know. Yes, I know. I had Jules look it all over for me. He told me that he knows Lauren and he's very confident that anything she does will be fair and equitable. Oh, equitable. You have been talking to an attorney, haven't you? Yeah, 
So I had Jules draw up some documents too. You know, from my point of view. Of course you did. Let me see. <laughs> you change your advanced directive to the whore? Is that wise? I understand you not wanting me to have the power to pull the plug, but Annie, that airhead, I wouldn't trust her to unplug the toaster. Well, I had to have someone do it. You don't still have me making that choice for you, do you? <laughs> Lord, of course not. Annie would have you pull the plug on me while I was still conscious. I, I asked our son. I would trust him with my life and apparently death too, it seems. Of course, that's the wisest thing, Joyce, of all. I'll do the same. We raised a good boy together, didn't we? He was just born good. I don't know who he got it from. All our kids are pretty terrific. And that's why we have to do the right thing by them and make sure that they inherit whatever we have and not some floozy you're living with. Jackie. Wait, what is this in your papers? Should Mrs. Graydon ever remarry, the manor must be sold, and Mr. Graydon paid in full for his half of the property? This will apply also if Mrs. Graydon has a romantic entanglement, move into the manor with her, so you're allowed to move in with the Amazon woman, but if I want to keep my house, I have to be alone for the rest of my life? Nice, Marshal. I don't think so. Fine. I'll have my attorney call your attorney. <laughs> uh, remember when the kids were young and we had that one-bedroom apartment and they slept in that, what should have been the dining room, that awful hide-a-bed sofa? They loved challenging you to staring contests. <laughs> Of course I remember, we'd all end up laughing and rolling around, so <laughs> they would make faces at me to try to break me up. <laughs> and then they would fall on the floor in giggles. <laughs> I'd give them the mom look. Yeah. <laughs> we would too. We were all so young, laughing, rolling around on the floor, happy. Shall we? Marshall, no, we, we agree. No more of this. Jackie, we were always good together. Let's have a Merry Christmas. Oh, hell. <laughs> Jackie, don't get up. I'll get it. That must be Susan. Can't wait to meet Lauren's new travel buddy. We have to approve of her, don't we? Be nice, Morgana. Hey, Susan! Hi! Hi. Come on Hi. in! Everybody, this is Susan. Susan, this is Jerome. <laughs> She's all about the game, deep in concentration. That's why I said yes about going on a mystery trip with her. Fly on the wall in your in your hotel room when you travel with her. Oh. I don't I don't know about her aura, but uh, not. Action. Thank the goddess. That's not even right. <laughs> oh, good goddess. Oh, goddess. <laughs> I know your line's not mine. <laughs> I was close. See, it's Wednesday now. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Action. 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 Action.